Hey everyone, it's Angel. I'm finally filming the Fun Lacquer Multi-Chrome Magnetic Polish video. I don't know if you guys care because these are a little bit old now, but I still care. I actually bought these back in September and I filmed this unboxing in October. What am I doing with my life? Because it is currently January 2018. I first saw these polishes on Simply Neological Snapchat and I think I bought them within like three minutes of seeing them because I knew these polishes were special and that I wanted them in my life. I did not watch her video until after I filmed mine because I didn't want her opinion to sway mine or I didn't want to see how they worked. So I did watch it the night after I filmed this. So we do end up doing a couple of similar things, but I do use some other products over them and do some nail art over them. So if you already saw hers, it's gonna be a little bit of repetitiveness, but hey, the more the merrier. So the reason why I was so excited to buy these polishes is because they're multi-chrome magnetic polishes. Now I do own some regular metallic magnetic polishes but i had never seen a company release something like this before now i think after fun lacquer releases maybe some other companies have come out with them or maybe they released it before but i had never saw them so i was super excited for these because we all know what a multi-chrome polish is as you move your fingers around or move into different light sources instead of just flashing one metallic color it's going to flash multiple colors and just blow your mind so first I'm going to swatch all of the polished colors on my nails and I've never shown this before but as my base coat I'm actually going to use 100% liquid latex. I buy a big jar of it and transfer it into an empty nail polish bottle. I will link both of those products down below. Now when I'm just quickly swatching things I like to use liquid latex as opposed to a peel off base coat because it just peels off better. I find that using a peel off base coat too many times kind of actually peels off my nails. So if your nails swatch or a nail blogger, I recommend checking out some 100% liquid latex if you're swatching and quickly removing your polishes. First up is Harmony, which is a sort of bronzy gold that flashes to green. Now, the first coat I was expecting to actually be more sheer than this because multi-chromes typically are pretty shitty on the first coat, but this is actually more opaque than I thought it was gonna be. And when it comes to magnetic polishes, you typically don't use the magnet on the first coat. It's just kind of pointless. So here is the second coat of Harmony and you wanna apply a little bit of a thicker coat than the first one and before it dries, you wanna grab your magnet. I am using the Fun Lacquer Magnet, but if you can't get your hands on that, I will list another powerful magnet down below that I got from Amazon that I've used on other magnetic polishes and it works just as great. So you wanna hold your magnet as still as possible and hold it for 15 to 30 seconds. I kind of held it for like 20 to 25 and I found I got a good effect that way. And as you can see, the magnet ends up kind of pulling the magnetic particles away from portions of your nail and it looks a little bit more sheer, but don't worry, we're gonna go in with another coat. Here you can see as the polish dried, that strong line down the middle of my nail kind of spread out a little bit because as the magnetic polish dries, the magnetic particles kind of spread back out a little, little bit. So here is the third coat and then I held for another 25 seconds and again, I get that strong line, but you'll see in the finished Manny, the lines kind of release a little bit as the polish dries. And doesn't this look like magic? I am always amazed at magnetic polish. It's just like, wow, I just did some magic. Moving on to the next color, this is Believe, which is sort of a blue that flips to a magenta and purple color. This one ended up being a little bit more sheer on the first coat than Harmony, but it does not matter because we're just gonna cover it up. Here is the second coat of Believe. Again, you wanna apply it a little bit thicker than that first coat, and then before it dries, you grab your magnet, hold as still as possible for 25 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever, however long you have it in you to hold that magnet very still. And as you can see, it sort of flips from blue to magenta, and I apologize for the weird lighting in this video. I used multiple light sources so that I could pick up those multi-chrome colors. So if my skin looks weird, it's my lights. And here is the third and final coat. Again, hold your magnet as still as possible. And even on this third coat, you can see on the right corner of my nail that the pigments are kind of pulling away and it looks very sheer there. I was like, oh no, but I didn't want to do a fourth coat. And I'm glad I didn't because as the polish dried down and the magnetic particles kind of settled back into place, you'll see those sheer spots kind of disappear and it just magically becomes opaque again. What is this black magic? 
And the final polish is Incredible, which is a magenta that flips to like an orange bronze, almost green. This one to me had the most colors out of all of them. This one was the most multi-chrome and this one ended up being my favorite. Here is the second coat of Incredible and you can just see how rich this color is. It's very, I don't know how to describe it when polishes look like this, like metallic velvet. If that existed, that's what this polish is. So here you can see as I'm holding the magnet, very still, I keep saying that, but you wanna hold it as still as possible because then you'll get more of a straight line and you'll get a better magnetic cat eye effect. Oh, look at this polish, it is so pretty. Here is the third and final coat of Incredible, and I found that as the polish dried down, it looked more multi-chrome. I think it's just because the way the magnetic particles are kind of laying a little flatter as they dry and they're not as like pulled and close together, you get more of that multi-chrome effect. Guys, I'm just, I'm just, I'm mesmerized by this polish as I'm watching it. Oh my God, I love you. So here are all the colors applied to my nails and they had probably been dried down for about 15 minutes and you can see they're kind of loosening up a little bit. That line isn't as strong across the top. And then I went in with top coat. I'm using Super Chic Lacquer's Liquid Macro Top Coat and I did find that these polishes took a longer time than your average polish to dry down. I don't know if that's the base or the magnetic particles, I don't know, but just be careful. Normally I my polishes only take like 25 minutes to dry down, but I felt like these were dentable for like an hour. So here is what they look like after drying down for another 20 minutes. Now I thought there was going to be like a very straight line across my nail. Maybe if I would have held it for the magnet for even longer, it would have been a straighter line, but I kind of like this because it just turns into like this shifty black magic. And these are pricey polishes, but I do recommend them because they are so unique and just so pretty and different. And I have nothing else like these. So I wanted to do a little bit of experimenting and see what else I could layer over these crazy polishes. So I went in and applied a gel top coat and cured for 60 seconds. And then I went in with Twinkle Tea's icing Aurora powder. I did review this icing powder in my last video. I'll link that down below. And I was actually really surprised because this ended up looking so cool. You could actually see the magnetic effect under the powder and the powder is sort of a multi-chrome powder so it was like layers of multi-chrome on top of each other and it was subtle but in person i could not capture it on camera it looked so cool in person this is a lot happening but it was really cool and then over my pinky nail i applied some more gel top coat and i was like how would hollow powder look over this and this was a little bit disappointing because you could not see the magnetic polish underneath the hollow powder. I mean, the hollow powder is cool, but don't lay it over magnetic polish because you can't see a damn thing. But hey, I tried. And then on my middle nail, I wanted to try some unicorn skin, mermaid, dragon flakes, whatever you wanna call these. So I applied a layer of clear polish and then I sprinkled some onto the damp polish and just kind of tapped them in. And I loved the way this looked. Again, it was like some iridescent, chromey stuff layered on top of multi-chrome. What could be better? And then don't worry, there's more. I wanted to see what black stamping would look like layered over this. So I grabbed this Shape Nouveau plate from Bundle Monster and my black stamping polish. And look at this. This is amazing. I didn't expect to like this as much as I did. I thought it was so cool how the black layered over the magnetic polish. You could kind of like see the stamping sometimes and then other times like the magnetic multi-chrome effect would pop out this was so cool and i ended up choosing this to do in my final look final experiment i promise on my thumbnail i wanted to see what matte top coat would look over a multi-chrome magnetic polish so here i'm using glisten and glows matte top coat which is a great matte top coat by the way and this is pretty cool now it's not as obviously it's not shiny because this is matte top coat but you can still see the multi-chrome magnetic effect under there it's not as prominent as when it's shiny but it's pretty cool so here are my finished 
magic, multi-chrome magnetic experiments. Which one is your favorite? Honestly, I love the way the icing powder looks over this polish. It's kind of subtle, but then it's kind of not because it's like, as you move your nails around, it looks like it's glowing under there. Magic. So after I removed that many, I wanted to combine a couple of the techniques that I just showed you guys. So I applied my base coat. This is the Nourishing Ridge Filler from Live Love Polish. And on my middle and index nail, I applied the incredible, that's actually the name, <laughs> incredible magnetic polish. Here is the first coat and then here is the second coat and I applied the magnet. Sorry, I'm gonna try to go a little faster because I feel like this is going so long. Like this video is probably gonna be the longest video I've ever done. And then once I applied the third coat and I applied the magnet, once I removed the magnet and while the polish was still tacky, so you gotta be a little quick this time, I grabbed a silicone applicator tool and picked up some of the flakes that I had previously sprinkled all across the nail. I didn't want to sprinkle them on the entire nail this time, so I just placed them more towards the cuticle area. I wanted the magnetic polish to still pop through, but get some of that awesome flakiness going on. And then on my pinky and ring nail, I applied Believe, which I think it should be called Believe because I'm a believer. Obviously, aren't you? Who isn't? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I do love Justin though. I forgot to film the first coat. Sorry, this is turning into something that I don't know what it is. And then after I applied the third coat and removed the magnet, I applied more of the flakies. And don't worry as the polish dries down that bald patch on the right corner of my nail will magically turn opaque again. <laughs> And I loved the way the black stamping looked over my one experimental nail, so I wanted to do some more. Here I'm using Lace Liquid Latex from Twinkle Tea to help with cleanup, and I really liked the Shape Nouveau plate that I was playing with earlier. And I decided to use the one corner of the plate that has all these crazy shapes, and I just, I don't know, this is a mismatch Manny. I just wanted to use as many patterns as I possibly could. On my pinky nail is the same pattern that I put on my index nail a little while ago. And on my ring nail, I use the grid pattern, which this nail I think is my favorite nail out of all of them. And then on my middle nail, I kind of stamped both patterns that were next. So it kind of is like a transition nail going from grid to these little squares. And then on my index nail are more squares <laughs> and I didn't do any stamping on my thumb. So that's it for the stamping. And then I applied Super Chic Lacquer's Liquid Macro Top Coat to all nails. And I always say this in my stamping videos that I like to apply a pretty thick layer of top coat because it helps to prevent smearing because you can float the brush over the surface of the nail and then the nail doesn't drag over the stamping and it doesn't smear it. Ta-da! So that completes my review slash tutorial slash experiment slash first impressions of the Fun Lacquer Multi-Chrome Magnetic Polishes. Now I have no idea how long this video is gonna be because the way I edit, I do my voiceover before I do the final edit. So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. <laughs> So after all that, I'm going to go ahead and recommend these polishes to you guys, even though they are pricey. I think they are so beautiful and they're worth the price, honestly. And my favorite one ended up being incredible. I also did like Believe and I could do without Harmony. I feel like that one wasn't as like multi-chrome as the other two, but incredible is my fave. So if you like, you can also go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at twy underscore star. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Uh, bye bye